Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's beer reviews. Hope you're doing well today. I have got a new brewery for the channel. Um, these guys are called Growling Gibbon. They are from uh, Winchester, which is in the like, South Downs area, sort of Hampshire, Sussex sort of area. Um, yeah, new brewery for me. Haven't had anything from these guys before, but I've heard good things. Um, I've got a New England IPA from them to review. This is their Tune In Freak Out. New England IPA coming in at 6.3%. 6.3% ABV. There is the Growling Gibbon logo. I like that. Very cool. Very cool. Um, I like the artwork. Very nice. Very nice. These guys are all about conservation. Um, I understand that a portion of the money that you pay for their beers go towards conservation uh, efforts around the world, looking after our wildlife and everything, which I'm all in for, all in for. Lovely animals, lovely wildlife, and if we don't look after it, we're all, we're all buggered, I was gonna swear, but I won't. Um, so tune in, freak out, this is New England IPA, very highly rated beer, this one, so I'm looking forward to this. Um, it says, generously hopped with Citra, El Dorado, Centennial, Mosaic, and Willamette. This hazy juice bomb packs a punch with notes of peach, tangerine, and pineapple. Ingredients, water, barley, oats, wheat, and hops. Um, they currently brew their stuff at Little Monster. Um, so Little Monster, obviously, contract brewing for these guys, or the brewers themselves are going there and getting it done using their brew kit. Um, Little Monster. I haven't had much from Little Monster either, but they've got a great logo. Great logo. But anyway, I digress. Growling, growling gibbon. Let's get this one out. Pop a fancy New England IPA today, so I'm looking forward to this. I ordered their taster pack. I think it was 15 quid, three cans. Um, I can't remember what was in it now. I think it was a pale. This New England IPA. There's one other beer, which I can't remember what it was now. That looks great. I mean, the glass is not the cleanest. Very unprofessional, but it's developed a huge head. I might just let that settle down for a little bit, if it wants to. And looking at it, the head doesn't look like it's going anywhere. So we'll leave that there for now. But uh, in a glass, hazy. Totally hazy, beautiful, gold, yellowy looking New England IPA with a massive head. Pure white, very fluffy. Looks nice, looks nice to get me snout in. See if I can get an aroma through that huge head. Give it a wriggle, open her up a bit. Oh yeah, very juicy. I think I've got a coconut. A coconut vibe, orange juice. Very orangey that one. Orange and coconut. There's no sabro in it, so I'm not sure why I'm getting coconut. Orange, a touch of passion fruit. It's a sweet tropical aroma. A definitely a bit of coconut. Let's get it stuck in, shall we? Cheers. Ooh. Ooh, that's very nice. Oh yeah, that's good. That's really good. Really juicy without being overly sweet. Proper like punchy fruit. A touch of uh, sort of a peppery finish to it rather than a bitterness. You don't really want bitterness on the back end of a New England IPA. But it's just got that touch of spice, touch of pepperiness from the hops. Mm. Good body on it. Good body. Very smooth. There is a touch of carbonation on it, which helps. It helps the uh, the flavours develop on your palate. I do find that. you got a little bit of a fizz to your beer, a little bit of a, a carbonation rush. Really helps throws the flavour around your palate, so you pick up all the little intricacies of it. So there is a nice smooth body to it. There is a lovely flavor from the hops. It's really juicy. There is a fruit cocktail medley going on. A lovely spicy, slightly peppery finish to it as well. It really balances it out. Um, 
this is cracking. This is a cracking New England IPA. I've got no issues with this. I'm going to get the rest of it in there. See if there's any juicy bits. I didn't see any lumps or anything fall out of the bottom of the can there. Can't see any sediment in the glass. Give it another wriggle. Give it another sniff. Touch more of that kind of peppery, spicy, slightly herbal finish I'm getting on the aroma now. Feel like the tropical fruit has died down a little bit. But it's balanced. Everything about this beer is balanced, which is, if you watch a lot of my videos, you know if I say balanced, that means it's a bloody good beer. Mm. That really is nice. That really is nice. I think they've nailed that. I really do. I think they've nailed it. I've had some really good New England IPAs lately from new breweries as well. I did a New England IPA from Missing Link recently. That blew my socks off as well. Cracking beer. Um, New England IPA is a style of beer that's been done to death. I grant you. And I do find I, ha I really have to be in the mood for one lately. But when I am, I'm... I'm I'm, at the moment, I'm going and looking at new breweries to see what their take on it is, what they're doing with it. And you know what? The last few weeks, I've had some absolute crackers, and it's kind of almost like a reintroduction to the beer style for me personally. I'm enjoying New England IPAs again, thanks to breweries like Growling Gibbon and Missing Link. Um, funnily enough, Missing Link and Growling Gibbon both have um, apes. <laughs> they're going with the apes, marsupial thing i'm all about that i love my animals it's great mm. oh it's fruity juicy punchy really refreshing smooth on the body a lovely touch of a carbonation rush really throws all those flavors around your palate really thirst quenching Really good, really good. And there's that lovely, that little touch of sort of a herbal pepperiness at the back end that just balances it all out and gives you a complete sort of beer drinking experience. This is wonderful. I, I'm, in terms of a New England IPA, from my point of view, that's all you can ask for. It doesn't get better than that. It's not light, it's not short it, don't, it doesn't come up short in anything it does everything in sort of perfect measure and there's perfect balance i use that word again balance there's that balance of fruit juice carbonation the hoppy character really comes through and makes this just a ridiculously drinkable beer the malt bill is fantastic um it's been done wonderfully they should be very very happy with themselves in this one hmm that is easily one of the most drinkable New England IPAs I've had in a long, long time. Fantastic. <coughs> Fantastic. Um, I've not got a bad word to say about it. I love the branding. I love the artwork on the can. 6.3%, it's the right ABV. Anything between six and eight, I think that's a perfect place to stick an, AB, uh, an IPA. And it hides that ABV really well, which, um, Again, I think it's a really good sign, a good sign of a good beer. Um, 6.3%, but it drinks like a 5%. It's just very, very drinkable. It's the sort of beer that you could sit and drink a few of and get yourself into quite a bit of trouble. <laughs> um, I love that. I love that. Tune in, freak out. What's that? That's a lyric from a song, isn't it? I'll get a song with doom, do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. That's enough for me. Uh, tune in, freak out. Growling Gibbon. Great beer. Love that. It'd be a miss of me to give it a 10 out of 10. Great beer. Great beer. Um, massive thumbs up from me. If you've enjoyed this video, why don't you give it a thumbs up? Do appreciate it. Till my next one, you take care.